I've never had anything in my hand which the quality has just been this good. It genuinely is a premium product. Hi guys, my name is Josh and welcome back to Just to Josh. Today I'm going to be doing something a bit different and I say that all the time, but that is because the majority of reviews that I do are a bit, well, different. Um, today I am going to be doing more of a upmarket high fashion brand. So this is in comparison something like a Gucci or Louis Vuitton, something to that effect. These are a pair of Golden Gooses. Now, Golden Goose is a brand in Italy and they consist of using premium leathers and materials to hand make their products in Italy, which I just think is incredible. And you can see it when you hold the shoe in hand. The attention to detail is just incredible. Golden Goose started from two Venetians back in 2000. Before that, they weren't too well known, but that's obviously when they hit their big break, when they discovered these guys. It even says here, for skateboarding use only, not designed for other activities. And I just think that's pretty cool because it basically shows that the whole idea behind it is skateboarding. I mean, if you look at these, no two pairs are going to be alike because of the way that the shoe is scuffed. If I show you the left shoe, you will see if you look there and there, they're both different. They're both scuffed in different places. So they are genuinely handmade. And I don't know, I just think that's pretty cool because you're gonna have different looks for each shoe. And yeah, it's something I adore. I know it's not everyone's, not everyone's cup of tea. Hi guys, listen, if you guys wanna watch a, another video of a woman's pair of golden gooses, I can also organize that so if you would like that please mention the comment section below i'd really appreciate it the materials of these consist of premium guys and i mean premium premium leathers premium suede there are other shoes which i've had the earlobes which are very nice the leathers very good on those but it's not even it's nothing compared to these these are just incredible i mean guys this is Italian leather. There's a reason why it's more expensive. It's not just the name Italian leather. They are genuinely just better. You can actually feel how much thicker this leather is comparing to the Olams, which aren't as thick. And what I find pretty interesting is on the, the back heel section, it's the rough side of the leather, which they've used. And then the rest of the shoe on the bottom side of the tongue and the inside of the shoe, they've used like a cloth material which I think is a pretty interesting way to obviously absorb sweat and stuff. A lot of companies will just use the raw side of the leather and they'll just have like one or two pieces of leather and that's that. Then we have the suede. So it's a star which is a suede. It's very good suede, obviously premium suede. Back heel tap, golden goose DB. That DB stands for deluxe brand. That's in this greenish color. And you know, when you, when you touch the suede, it goes the one way and then it goes the other way. This is that effect and it's just, Right, it's just incredible. You guys are gonna hear me say it a lot, but the quality on this is just stupid good. The leather goes all the way around. You have this little section here, which I think is pretty interesting. It's a nice touch. And there's no stitching that separates the toe box to the tongue. It's just one straight piece of leather, which I really like. And then we have here, it's not plastic. It's definitely not plastic. I think it's either copper or metal. And that's Golden Goose Deluxe brand. And the half star is for Super Star, obviously. And over here at the top, it says Golden Goose Deluxe brand made in Italy. And at the time where it says Golden Goose Deluxe brand, and it says size, you can actually see this little line there, and then you obviously would write your own size in or whatever you want. So the insole is a genuine leather insole. It's actually producing, so it's like a foam material, but it's a high density foam, so a normal foam that you're gonna get. I think it's called Poron. And then on top of that, you get this premium leather. Then at the bottom, you have this, it's a really, really, really high density foam, almost like a plastic. It's a combination of the two, I'd say. It's not just a normal plastic, it's a touch softer than that because it has some give. I'm not 100% sure if that is for, to be honest, but from what I can speculate, I think it is just for extra heel support like i know other companies like new balance they will have extra stiffness in the heel and that's obviously the same kind of concept then on the inside of the shoe below the insert 
you can actually see the date which these shoes have been made and that is just so special. You can even see where they've welted the sole onto the rest of the shoe with the little nails. We also have this outsole, which is this herringbone outsole. Then over here in the midsole, we have this off-white worn leather. And then we also have these three little holes here, which is obviously just to help for breathability and on the interior side as well. Overall, great quality, just incredible. Really, really premium. The laces on these shoes, it's a gray, more of a dirty gray kind of a color. And they're very soft. Sizing of these shoes. I would recommend going half size down as they are a touch big, but you can get away with true size. But like I always say, if possible, try and fit the shoe on in store. Just make your life a lot easier. Durability. Durability of these shoes are just extreme. They're made to last. I mean, that's why they look like this. They sell it to you and they want you to wear it. They want you to beat these shoes. So it's not a type of shoe which you're gonna go buy and say, no, I'm gonna leave it on my shelf. That's not why you buy these. You buy these to wear. Comfort. The only negative side to these shoes. The Erlins are a touch more comfortable than these, but these aren't uncomfortable. I just think they could have been a bit more comfortable. And the reason for that is, I honestly just think that they've made this inner sole. I think they've made that plastic. I think they made it a touch too hard. And at the toe and forefoot section, it's not the thickest. You're not gonna be uncomfortable with these, but they're not the most comfortable pair of shoes. If you want comfort, buy a pair of old shoes. So why you buy these? <laughs> and that's pretty much it, guys. Um, overall, great shoe. If you can afford it, yeah, you can't go wrong with these. You really can't. Like I said, it's not everyone's cup of tea. If you like your shoes looking crisp and white, you're not gonna buy these. But I'm not one of those people. I just think these are amazing. They're special. They are unique. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, share if you want to. If you haven't yet, I know 90% of the people who are watching this have not subscribed. So just click that button. It helps me, helps you, helps us both. Makes everyone find it easier. I'm still doing the giveaway. I'm pretty close to 100 subscribers. So when we get there, it's gonna be released. Cheers.